A fantastic finish at the 2019 Boston Marathon. The 26.2 mile race came down to just seconds as the top men battled it out on Boylston. Less than 24 hours after that incredible win, we are hearing from the race champions. It was a history making day that had just a little bit of everything in the mix. WBZ's Paul Burton is live in the back bay now with more from the winners. Paul? Winners who are all very humble and glad to have this race behind them. They say this was a very challenging marathon in terms of the weather. Moments ago, the winners accepted their cash prizes with a great sense of accomplishment. From photo finishes to historic wins, another successful Boston Marathon completed. This morning, BAA officials presented checks from John Hancock to the winners of the wheelchair races, along with $150,000 checks to the men and women's elite runners. For the men's division, Lawrence Chirono, last-minute sprint to the finish line was a nail-biter. It was uh, very hard for me. It is, uh, I never ran a race like this. Wheelchair winner Daniel Romanchuk made history by becoming the first American to win since 1993. I'm very honored to bring back the, uh, the Boston Marathon win to the States. The Jager Worknish took home the medal in the women's race by a landslide. This is going to change my life. Uh, this marathon introduced me to the more world stage. BAA officials say this marathon was unpredictable. Lightning, rain, heat, cold temperatures made it tough on both the runners and the volunteers. A total of 106 people had to be hospitalized. We had to make a bunch of weather-related decisions at the last minute. Delays in transportation, sheltering of volunteers, merging waves at the start, signage adjustments throughout the entire course. A huge congratulations to all the winners and runners of this Boston Marathon. Some other important stats. 13 people had to be hospitalized overnight. There were 2,217 medical encounters and a total of 26,632 official runners that completed the race. Reporting live in Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.